What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do another subscriber request Saturday, of course. And yes, I did cut my hair off because it was time, it was time. Anyway, today I'm gonna to be doing a subscriber request from Mary Jane Pritchard. She actually requested that I do some more tutorials with Kat Von D Saint and Center Palette. And that is what I'm here to do. And I'm sorry if the white balance is off and I'm yellow this entire time because I cannot get my camera to cooperate and it's driving me crazy. Moving on, I understand a lot of people have trouble with this palette. A lot of people just are put off by the fact that it's laid out strangely, that there's really no cohesion to it. Um, yes, it's a very artistic choice that Kat made when it comes to the way she laid it out. But, you know, I've learned to work with it. And I've also learned something very important about this palette is the fact that the palette in and of itself and the shades in it are so unique that you really don't have to try too hard with this palette. And what I mean by that is, keep the eye look simple, keep the eye shape simple. Don't feel like you have to just go crazy with it because the colors are crazy enough. You don't necessarily have to do some crazy dramatic eye look to get a good look out of it. A lot of the work has just been done for you when it comes to creativity. So like I said, the way that I have found that I like to work with this palette best is to keep the shape simple, make it a smoky eye, make it just an all one lid shape, just whatever you wanna do, but just realize how unique the colors are on their own. You don't necessarily have to come up with a super creative, super unique eye look with these shades. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. I'm just gonna do this really simple smoky eye using this palette. I really do love this palette and I absolutely love the formula of the shadows in it. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I actually already set my eyes with this shade right here. The two lightest shades kind of combined. I primed my eyes and then I set with those colors. Now I'm actually going to put my transition down and I'm gonna use Martyr, which is like the most obvious transition shade in the palette, like the camel brown. And then I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of this just to lighten it up tiny bit just to make it easier to blend you might not need to do this like if your skin's darker than mine it might just be completely unnecessary but that's what i'm going to start with all right fix my lighting hope this is better i am going to drag it out pretty far but i will extend my brow line when i draw my brows on so i am going to bring it out past this and then when I do my foundation and everything, I'll shape it the way I want. Now I'm gonna go in with Devil and that is the orange shade in the palette right here. I'm gonna put that in my crease. I'm actually gonna use this little Royal Techniques. This is a medium shadow brush, but I like how tapered it is and it's fluffy on the end. So I'm gonna do, use that to put Devil in my crease. Okay, now that I've got that down, I'm gonna go into Vestment. I'm just gonna take this little Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm gonna wet it first. And of course, Vestment is the one that is like a teal, holographic kind of, I don't know, it's a very interesting, here I'll swatch it to show you what it looks like. It's almost like, it's got the same quality as a blue brown, but without the brown, it's more of like a, it's like a, yeah, it's like a navy blue with like a, a green flake, I don't know, it's really cool. Anyway, wet my brush and I'm gonna go into Vestment. And I'm actually just going to put this all over my lid. Now I'm going in with my finger now that I've got like the initial shape down. Now I'm going into Martyr with like a little elf crease brush, detail crease brush, and I'm going to smooth out the edges of this vestment shade here. Kind of using it to blend it into my crease. Now I'm just feathering the edge of it ever so slightly right in here into where my outer V is or angle bracket as I like to call it. Just going over my lids once more with that vestment shade real quick. Just gonna take some micellar water on a cotton pad and clean up this mess that I've made here. Same time, kind of take the opportunity to shape my eye the way I want it preliminarily because I will go back in after when I do my lower lash line. Okay, now the last thing I'm gonna do to my upper lid is I'm going to go in with Cathedral, which is this gunmetal shade down here in the corner. And I'm going to just put that right in the center of my lid over top of this vestment. Not quite as bright as I'd like it to be, so I'm just gonna take Heaven and put it right over top, which is this silver shade right here. Just a little bit. I don't want it to be too bright. I don't want a halo eye. I just want like a, um, I don't know, I just want a little bit of dimension here. 
Okay, so just a heads up, Heaven is super glittery and it's not really wanting to stick on top of this metallic vestment shade. So maybe skip that step. Honestly, I mean, it just adds a little bit of a sheen on the center, but I don't think it made enough of a difference for me to be dealing with all of this glitter on my face. So um, on second thought, or you can just put it over a base or wet it, something like that. But um, I'm gonna move on to foundation. I'm gonna use my CYO foundation. Gonna mix it with some of the RCMA thinner drops. Now I'm just shaping my eyeshadow the way I want it using field vision. Now mixing shape tape with the NYX HD concealer. I'm just gonna go over this little spot with like a tiny brush and just the shape tape on its own. Let that cook there for a second before I blend out the edges. I'm gonna use the concealer left over on my hand here to just kind of Cover up a little bit more of my redness and highlight my face a little bit. I'm just gonna make sure that my shapes are even and I've got the nice like I don't know almond shape I guess that I like to do with my eye because I like to follow my natural shadow here for those of you who haven't heard me mention that before I like to look down and follow my natural shadow and where it goes and use my eyeshadow to follow that line and like I don't know use that as a guideline for my eyeshadow so once I've got the shape mapped out and everything is good and even what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my favorite shades in the palette, if not my favorite shade. This is called Sacred Heart. It's a really interesting metallic coral shade. It's super pigmented. I love this eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm gonna take this little e.l.f. smudge brush and I'm going to use that to apply Sacred Heart on my lower lash line. I'm trying to keep with like the blue and orange theme. Oh my God, I love this color. Barely touched my brush into the pan. It's such a good shadow. She would come out with this in a single. I wish she would come out with a lot of single. I wish she would come out with the crap we asked her to come out with. Come on, cat. Jeez. She's releasing all this crap that we none of us asked for. Glimmer fails. I mean, they're pretty, but come on, who's gonna wear those every day? Just kidding, some people might wear them every day. But um, while I'm on the topic, why, why doesn't she come out with like a colorful palette that's permanent? I mean, come on, everybody's like begging her for it. Like at this point, I feel like she doesn't give two craps about her customers. Like I feel like of all the stuff that we ask her for, she just comes out with stuff we don't. Why? I don't get it. Jeez, cat. Everybody's asking for a permanent colorful matte palette. Or I mean, I don't know, colorful matte singles, something. And if you've got one coming out and you're just like messing with us and you just don't wanna like tell us, I think it's time because I think people are getting a little bit fed up, okay? Just a tad. Like, I love her stuff, but something's gotta give. Start listening to the people. Stop releasing crap they never asked for. It's funny, because like there are a lot of brands that really grind my gears, but as far as even some of the ones I don't like, I feel like even they will listen to their customers. Like, oh, make this permanent. Make this not limited edition. And they're like, okay, you know what? You guys asked for it, men do it, you know? And yeah, some of them probably have that in mind. It's going to be permanent anyway when they release it as limited edition. They just want that boost from the limited edition, which annoys the crap out of me. So, I mean, I do have a lot of respect for Kat Von D when she says something is limited edition. It is limited edition, but 
Evita Luca, I think it's been long enough. I think it's been long enough. I think it's time to just give the people what they want and make my Vita Loca remix permanent. It doesn't have to be in the original packaging. In fact, I would like it to be in something a little bit more compact that I could travel with. Make my Vita Loca remix permanent. All right, I'm gonna end this rant right here. I'm gonna keep, keep, I'm just gonna keep going on. All right, all right, so for my waterline, I'm just gonna use this NYX eyeliner. This is called Cafe. It's like a reddish brown. It's really subtle, but it just kind of completes the lower lash line in my opinion. This should be fun. I just use this like concealer brush and the concealer I have left over on it, patted it over, and um, hope for the best. Very tempted to forgo mascara, but let's do brows first and see how we feel afterwards, okay? So basically, I just wanna make sure that I bring my brow line out about as far as my shadow here. One more time, I'm gonna go over vestment in case I blended away any of it. The green, just since I've been kind of messing around, <laughs> very carefully. If I mess up my foundation now, I'm gonna start with blush. I'm not gonna do bronzer yet. I'll change, if I, if I change your mind, I'll let you know. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I like it. Put a little bit up here on my temple. I've been keeping my blush kind of high lately because I have like a lot of texture issues down here right now. So in the middle of switching exfoliants, so hopefully that will fix the problem. We shall see. I'm just kind of adding a little bit of color here and there. Just blending everything together. All right now, so I'm just gonna highlight. I'm not even gonna bronze because screw it. I'm actually gonna use Champagne Pop because I love this layered with this. It lightens champagne pop up just a tiny, tiny bit. That physician's formula is already super. What am I doing? <laughs> it's a cream product. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush to apply a little bit of that to my nose. Actually, no, we're doing. We're not doing a nose highlight today. Yeah, I'm gonna keep all the highlight on my cheeks. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna go in with champagne pop. I love this highlight. Oh, just love it. Okay, so my skin's looking a little bit dry. I don't know, maybe I used a little bit too much powder today, but I'm gonna use this Pixi Glow Mist before I do mascara, just because it will transfer my mascara. All right guys, I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you learned something maybe about how to work with this palette if you bought it and you're just really not sure what to do or maybe I gave you another eye look to kind of put in your arsenal. Um, either way, let me know if you guys have any more requests. I love doing subscriber requests Saturday. This is only the second Saturday of course, but I'm pretty excited about it. I am trying to kind of get, um, I'm trying to play catch up here, but the ultimate goal will be to do at least two Saturdays a month. So um, yeah, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. If you're not a subscriber and you wanna be, click the subscribe button in the corner here and I'll see you next time. Peace out guys.